the uh, action. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Crystal, mm -hmm. and this is Sarah, and we're from Carry the Future. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited to be here in COS. Everybody has been so nice and welcoming. And we're so excited. We can't wait to get started. We have 400 baby carriers uh, ready to go for, for refugees that have babies so that they don't have to hold them in their arms mm -hmm. uh, to make their journey as easy as possible. And um, I'll let Sarah introduce herself. She's a, a doula, so she helps mothers who are pregnant or who are going to have a baby, and she's going to be uh, play a very important role as well. Mm -hmm. uh, how long time have you start to work about this uh, action, and uh, what was the the first uh, um, ide idea? Do you want to answer? Yeah. Sure. Um, well, Crystal came up with the idea originally to uh, raise around um, enough to do 100 carriers and just send them over here to her, the family and um, have them given out. But um, I ended up finding her online like a lot of other people and it just grew from there. And so we came over here to do a trip and bring 400 and then um, we'll have another trip coming in a couple weeks to bring close to 2,000. 2,000. You started from Facebook or you Yes, are? I started just with friends saying, uh, hey, you know, there's this situation happening in Kos, can we help? Uh, you know, the families, they come with babies, they don't have anything. And it was amazing how much people wanted to help. It, I went to my office because I gave my address. Do you, do you have a number of how many people? Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so 1,003 people donated money mm -hmm. and about 1,000 people sent me baby carriers in the mail. So I got all these packages, big, small, from all over the world, all over the United States, Canada, Italy, France, they sent them to me. And uh, a lot of them have little notes that say, God bless you uh, for, the, for the refugees. They say little uh, encouraging words like, I, I wish you the best and things like that. So it's been very emotional and I think a lot of people just love the idea um, of being able to help. And there's so much support in, in the United States for, for not just for the Syrian refugees, but also for the people in Kos because we know that the situation in Greece is not that good right now and we are here because we want to help everybody. We want the best possible outcome. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how long are you, are you going to stay here? Well, I'm going to be here for, we're both going to be here for a week for and a week. then uh, we hope to come back. If there's more refugees in the winter, we definitely want to come back and if not, we'll be back in the summer. So you're going to continue this action, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Our plan is to keep going as long as it, we need to do this. And we know that, you know, with the civil war in Syria, this is not something that's going to get solved in six months or one year because you have so many people that are now living away from their home. 30, 40, 50 years from now, there will still be repercussions because of everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. So we've created a nonprofit. It's called Carry the Future. And we've created an organization with 30 volunteers like myself and Sarah. And our plan is to take it for as long as we need to, to help families that are in very hard conditions uh, be able to support their family, their children, and travel safely in times of need. Uh can you tell us about uh, the picture of a uh, small island or uh, all this uh, pain you have feel about these uh, refugees? Yeah, absolutely. I, and I know Sarah feels the same way. For, for me, uh, when I saw the picture of Aslan, uh, it was so touching to me. And I went through a lot of emotions. At first, I was angry that I saw that picture. Um, but one thing I knew was very clear. I had to do something about it. I couldn't just ignore it. It was impossible to ignore. And so I started researching. I embraced the news. I started reading the news before I was, you know, shutting it away. I didn't want to know anything. And I started to research and everywhere I looked, you know, I saw that there was so many people carrying babies in their arms. And I have a son, he's two years old and I can't carry him for more than 10, 20 minutes. So I realized, 
we can send these baby carriers and that's what's going to help the, the refugees. And Sarah has a similar story. I was going to say, I think a lot of us have children that have gotten into this movement. We have children that are at the age of Lil Aslan. And so I think when we saw him, it was easy for us to see our son or our daughter. Um, I have a son that's 14 months. <laughs> and so it was like seeing that picture, it was like seeing my son there. And um, that's, unex you know, that's unacceptable. We have to help. And um, it's hard to know how, but we knew from our own experiences about baby wearing that this could be tangible, that it could really help um, moms and dads out. And uh, so we all got behind it, and I think others um, felt the same and, and came on board. And your family's role about this? Uh, well, and your husband? Of yeah, everybody's playing a role. We're both moms, we've both left our babies. For the first time, this is the first time I've been away from my son, so we're making sacrifices, but they're totally worth it. We're so happy, and you know, our husbands are supporting us. They're home taking care of the kids so that we can come and do this, and everything from the beginning of this campaign to the very end, it's been a group effort, and it's been a lot of people, thousands of people coming together and saying, it is not acceptable. We don't care about the politics. We don't care if they're refugees or migrants. People can think what they want, but at the end of the day, they need help, mm -hmm. and they deserve dignity, and they deserve um, a good life, you know, no matter what. So we're just here to help in the small way that we can. One something that really got a lot of us volunteers was the fact that she was coming and saying, you know, my husband has family here, yeah. and um, that gives you a local connection. You yeah. know, it's not just giving money. It's not just saying, oh, I hope this helps. It's saying... She knows people, she can help us make these contacts. And that's what really got me to send in my money and then eventually to come on board as a volunteer and say, you know what, I want to come with you. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, we, we each spent our own money from fundraising on this trip, you know, so there was that sacrifice as well, but it was that local connection that we knew it was really going to get in the refugees' hands and in other people who need them. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest difference between what we're doing and, uh, you know, big uh, non-government uh, agencies. Mm -hmm. um, there's not a very personal relationship with big agencies. You give $10 or 50 euro or 100 euro and you don't really know how the money is spent. You hope most of it goes to the refugees. But in this case, people knew they give me a baby carrier, mm -hmm. a, a Syrian refugee or, or a refugee from another country will have that baby carrier in a couple of weeks. And people really, really like that idea. That's not something that a lot of nonprofits are doing. So it, it really, people embraced it, they loved it, and they just, you know, bombarded me with, with ca baby carriers. I mean, we have a huge storage uh, warehouse in Los Angeles with about 2,000 units or 2,000 carriers. Yes. And many of these are carriers that parents have used before. Um, this was a way for people who maybe don't have a lot of money to get involved. They could say, hey, I'm just going to ship this. Um, like we had the, a carrier that was from a mom of three kids, and she said, this carried all three of mine, but I'm going to give it to you now because you need it more than I do now. And that was just really touching because I can also imagine having three kids. There's not a lot of spare money around, you know, but she could get involved. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you very much for your interview and congratulations. Thank you.